cat just found my second favorite animal. The weather's coming in. It is going to be... A good one. <laughs> she makes fun of me when I say, good one. <laughs> Where are we? Are we in Asia somewhere? Yeah, we're back. As Alex will say, welcome back to another video. That's right. We are going to go to the aquarium today. Check that out. And we are also going to go on the cable car, the Lisbon cable car. And we are looking forward to doing that because today is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. That's right. That's and that right. sounds fun. <laughs> That's right. We only have a few more days left here in Lisbon. So we decided to make the most of it and yeah. go out and try to enjoy a few, few um, places. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Okay, just waiting for our Uber now. We are. Ubers and taxis are actually fairly affordable here. What were they, like around four? Yeah, Yeah, a range of between four to five euros, depending on where you're going. Yeah. Yeah, so this um, aquarium is about 30 minutes away from um, the main center. Main city, yeah. So it cost us around seven euros. Yeah. Like you look at the taxi prices and then you can kind of see what the locals are getting paid because it's a really good range. But within Lisbon, there's a lot of expensive properties. So there's actually, I think, a lot of disparity between the wealthy people and then the people that are earning a regular income. All right, so we have arrived to the Oceanarium. I'm just, just about to walk in now. And hopefully it is going to be... A good one. <laughs> fun. <laughs> she makes fun of me when I say, good one. <laughs> All right, let's go enjoy it. So always buy your tickets online. Any monument you do in any city, if you can buy the tickets online, do it. We just say 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Oh, for sure. And you know, guys, Time is money, so you always have to optimize for time. That's what we've learned. All right, we're in. Here we are, so this is the first um, section of the aquarium. The Montara is so beautiful. They remind me when um, I dove with them in Bali. They were like, I don't know, maybe 10 around me dancing. It was so beautiful. Oh wow, sharks too. So there's a funny one, I don't know where he is. But he's swimming on the side. <laughs> oh, there's a big daddy coming. Oh, hello. Oh jeez. It's a bit scary. How is it? It's cool, eh? Oh, look at this one. Check out this bottom feeder. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So this is one of the reasons why we love to travel and go to tropical places and dive and look at these incredible species. It's like a, a whole nother world, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. Laura's actually got her diving license, I don't. But I still do enjoy going snorkeling and just having a look at this nature. It's crazy. They look like they can see you because they have two eyes and a mouth, but it's actually not their eyes. Their yeah. eyes are on top of their little head. See what I was saying? Look, she's looking. The eyes are on top, but if you look, see if you look at them from the back, looks like they're looking at you. You'll be tired, you're resting. It's much colder here, eh? Yeah, it's really cold. For the penguins. Man, they're funny though, aren't they? Yeah. Birds that cannot fly. Look at them. <laughs> they can swim though. Yeah. They swim really well. Look at this 
guy. <laughs> He's so uncoordinated. Look at this though, 150 billion tons of ice melts and disappears from Antarctica per year. Pretty nuts, huh? That's sad, isn't it? Crazy. Look at these two, they're sleeping. Okay, I just found my second favorite animal in this um, aquarium. So, first one being the Monterey, but look at these. These otters are so funny. <laughs> showing off, babe. Yeah. He's showing off in front of you. I think he likes me. Oh wow, it really feels like you're in a tropical forest here because it's like very humid. It's almost mm. like they adjust the temperature in every single section. Yeah. So when we were in, at the penguins, it was really cold and now it's like very, very hot, almost like in Southeast Asia. Where are we? Are we in Asia somewhere? Yeah, we're back. We're back to Bali, are we? Back, nice. yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So we are done with the Oceanarium. What did you think? It was magical. So beautiful. What was your favorite? Um, two favorites actually. I love the Monterey's. They're so beautiful. I feel like they're very, um, they bring you so much peace, you know? You yeah. feel so, I could just be there and watch them all day, sit there and watch them all day. And the sea otter. They're so cool. They're so fun. Looks like they're like kids in other body, you know? Yeah. Like they look like they're seven years old or eight years old just playing in the water all day. Mm. What about you? Yeah, same with me. I think really enjoyed the sea otter. They're so playful, very interesting animals. And also the main tank, just in general, mm. adds some sort of level of peace and tranquility. Perfect for a day off perfect for a Sunday so I actually really enjoyed that yeah it was a little too busy for my liking yeah um, but that's expected but yeah that's expected on a weekend <laughs> yeah you can yeah. tell I think it's a good place to bring kids because oh, perfect place um, kids were just watching that big um, tank and they were like oh my god no they were having an awesome time yeah. now we are going to go grab a bite to eat mm -hmm. a little bit hungry and afterwards we're going to jump on the cable car you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. So we just had some food. It's quite nice. We also bought some Nespresso pods because that is essential throughout the week. And now we are headed off to the cable car. It actually looks like the weather's coming in. For the very first time, it looks like it might actually rain here in Lisbon. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy today. Yeah. This morning was okay, but it is a bit cloudy now. Yeah, if we look that way, it almost looks like it's about to storm, but we'll see. Uh, we're maybe around 10 minutes away walking, so we should be there soon. All right, we're in the cable car. Babe, I have a question to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> So, does every single country in Europe drink coffee after dinner time? Oh yes, at yeah. least in France. At home we always drink coffee after dinner, after lunch or after dinner. See, I don't get it because like in Australia of course, we drink coffee in the morning to wake us up, the caffeine hits you, maybe after lunch as well, you have another cup of coffee, maybe a, an espresso or something, just Not to keep you awake. Not later than 3 p.m. No, no. Never, never. Yeah. I try to protect my sleep, particularly for me anyway. But here and in France, I noticed that every single person, regardless of where they are, they're always having espresso after the dinner time. Yeah, it's just a thing. Here in Portugal, in addition to the espresso, they also have a little bit of port, um, which I've noticed. Which yeah. is quite nice. I, so you I don't can mind. either have espresso or only in port. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind the, the port. They actually have both. They have yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. the port, no, the espresso first, and yeah. then the port to yeah. finish, finish it off. Which is. Port, I can understand because it's very sweet. Yeah. So it makes sense. But the coffee, mm, interesting. Yeah. Maybe I should get into it because I love coffee. Maybe you should try. No, Do it on a Saturday night so then if you don't sleep, it's fine. It's That's Sunday right. the day after, so you'll be fine. Yeah. 
that's um, that's something that I'm going to definitely have to try. But anyway, um, so we're on the cable car. Um, behind us, you can see Vasco de Gama, the longest bridge. And here on the right, it is Alfama district. So a bit of a business district, a lot of uh, skyscrapers, um, office buildings, There's a lot of co-working um, spaces. Uh, well. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So a really, really nice um, shopping mall. It's actually that round building. Oh no, it's yeah. behind that round Just building. There, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's where we've eaten a few times. Sure we also do some shopping there if we need to. Um, so it has all the essential shops. And that's where we got the pods as well, the Nespresso pods, because those are very important um, throughout the week. <laughs> to survive. <laughs> to survive, that's right. Not even to thrive, but to survive. <laughs> Go through the grind. Um, anyway, very short and sweet, this cable car. I actually was expecting it to be a little bit longer. It's roughly around one, I mean, one way is five uh, minutes, right? Yeah, about five minutes. Yeah, around five minutes. So, so how much did we pay? I think it was seven euros and fifty cents per person, per, person mm -hmm. per one way. Yeah, um, and so if you're you going double, round trip. round trip is ten or something. Yeah, nine ten or ten or something like that. So regardless, it's very enjoyable because you can kind of see a little bit more than on off the ground, of course, and so yeah. you can see the bridge, the longest bridge. There's actually a rainbow behind me. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see that. If not, there is, um... Yeah, just there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it is a nice ride, but short and sweet, just so you, um, everyone knows that. It's not like a 20 minute gondola ride or something like that. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, otherwise we're just about to jump off now, and um, we'll see you guys on the other side. So we are done with the cable car. That was very enjoyable. Very quick and snappy though, wasn't it? It was, just a five minutes ride. Yeah, <laughs> very, very quick. But all in all, really enjoyable day because we're not a typical traveler. So we don't just go and see you know, the city and do all the tourist attractions every single day. We actually work. So it is nice to have a day off, a weekend off where you can go and explore and and visit some of the attractions of the city. Really actually enjoyed that day. It was quite nice. Yeah. Nice to relax and sightseeing as you say. Absolutely. It's actually raining on us now, so that's not that's not as nice, but for the very first time since we've been here, it's actually yeah. raining. Not yeah, very been, often here. It's been sunny every day. Yeah, it's been really nice. Been lucky. We have the bridge just behind us. Vasco da Gama, the longest bridge. We've been speaking about it a few times. Quite beautiful, very very long, yeah, 17 kilometers. As you can see, it just stretches and you can't even see the other side. Very, very nice. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you guys in the next video.